I have the longest channel name on YouTube. Yes, this is a legitimate real channel that exists. The normal character limit for a username on YouTube is 50 characters, but using a simple YouTube glitch, I managed to get a username that was 382 characters long. And since I made this video all about that username, the channel has since reached well over 100,000 subscribers, which means that after several weeks of annoying YouTube over and over again, they eventually agreed to send me this play button. Inside this box is the most ridiculous silver play button you will ever see. I thought that I got the longest possible username on a play button in this video many months ago. As you can see, this username is 50 characters long. But this is absolutely nothing compared to what is inside here. This video is also sponsored by Honey. More about them later on. But for now, we're going to go about five weeks in the past to begin my journey of trying to get my hands on this ridiculous play button. So here we are, we're on my YouTube channel dashboard. Now, if YouTube wanted to give me this play button, a little thing would pop up at the top saying, congratulations on 100,000 subscribers. Here's a code to redeem yourself a play button. But as you can see, we do not have any of that. We do have some nice achievements though. Look at that, 10,000 hours of watch time, a million views, and what was the first one? 200,000 subscribers. We've got to 200K and we still haven't received our play button code. So because we haven't received our play button code, we need to do a Jack Sucks at Life classic, which is annoying YouTube staff on YouTube live chat. Chat with a member of our team. Enter your channel URL. Not a problem. Start chat. I'm number one in line. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm connected with Venice. Hi, my name is Venice. How are you doing today? I am great. Thank you. Venice, what about yourself? Question mark. That's good to hear. Great stuff, Venice. I'm doing good too. Thank you. Fantastic. How can I help you today? I'll tell you, Venice. So I'll say, my channel reached 100,000 subscribers a couple of months ago, but I'm yet to receive a code in my YouTube studio to redeem my silver play button. Send. I have no idea what this silver play button is going to look like because there is literally nowhere near enough room for the actual username. Venice has said congratulations for reaching such an incredible milestone. Thanks, Venice. It took a lot of work. May I know who I'm chatting with, by the way? Hmm, that's a suspicious question. I've done this like 12 times. They've never asked me that before. I'm slightly concerned. Shall we send in my username? <laughs> my name is Jack. My YouTube channel is... <laughs> oh, I've accidentally put the sub count at the bottom. That was an accidental copy and paste. I'm sorry about that one, Venice. He says, thanks, Jack. Is he going to acknowledge the ridiculously long username? No, he's not. He's just putting the chat on hold for three to five minutes. Okay, I've said yes, that's no problem. So now we wait. <laughs> Oh my god, he's typing! He's typing! Here we go! Thanks for waiting. Good news! Ho oh, oh. ho! I put an emoji. I'm really excited. Oh my god, he's they give me the code right now! So for reference, every single time I've done this previously, they have to contact the awards team and I have to wait like four days to hear back. But they must have made the system more efficient. <gasps> to redeem your career award, head to the Creator Awards Redemption website and enter your unique code. Once you signed in, you'll be asked to enter your channel name as you'd like to see it on your award. Okay, hopefully there isn't a character limit on that bit, because I have a feeling there definitely will be. You can expect your award to be delivered in about two or three weeks. Weeks. In addition, did you know that your team could buy extra awards? Yes, I did, Venice. I've been trying to buy extra awards for months, but every time I bloody email them, they kick off at us. All right, we thanked Venice for their help. They've said congratulations. What a delight. He's asked if there's anything else. I'm going to say, nope, that's everything. And then, do you know what? I'm going to give him a little kissy face because I'm feeling a bit wild about it, to be honest. Looking forward to your gold play button. <laughs> Am I getting a gold one? Bloody hell. Hang on, I need to fill in this survey. I am extremely satisfied. Right, here we go. We're back here again. All right, enter me little code. I'm not a robot. <laughs> Click continue. Oh my God, is it there already? <gasps> it's already there. The whole thing's there. The whole thing's there. Okay, just don't don't even touch it. Just click continue. Oh no, 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 no. It, I, I just keep getting switched back again. No, no, no. I verify it. It's perfect. When I click continue, nothing's happening. It's just putting me back to the website. Obviously, they think that it's a bit dodgy or something. So they're like, no, that can't be right. Can you please double check? Okay, so now we've hit a stumble. I saw this coming, to be honest. So I guess at this point, I should try emailing Society Awards and see what they say. Okay, I've written out a little email. So I guess I'll get that sent off and we'll hope for the best. Probably take them a couple of days to get back to me. So I then waited about 48 hours and I got an email back from Society Awards. And as expected, it was not good news but I had a cunning plan. 
Whoa, guess what? It's been 24 hours, and no surprise, it's not good news. Thank you for reaching out. We are sorry to hear about the problems you're experiencing. Please reach out to create a support team who will be able to assist you with your question. And then they've linked YouTube create a support team. That's a dead end. Clearly that's going nowhere, so it's time to get a bit more creative. I was staring at this only moments ago, and I was thinking to myself, what if the same glitch that allowed me to get this ridiculously long username on YouTube also worked on this website? Because yes, they fixed it on YouTube after my video but we're not on youtube right now so inspect is the max length thing oh my god it says max length so this is exactly how i did it on youtube i just changed the max length to i think 700 <laughs> i've clicked okay and now i'm gonna click continue and see what happens oh I really thought that was gonna work. It just refreshed the page, nothing happened. Just in case, let's see exactly how many characters this username is. It's 382, so just for the fun of it, I'm gonna change the max length to that, and then we're gonna click continue and hope for the best. You ready? Still not. Oh my, wait, what happened? Did I do it? It took me back to the home page. Okay, well, we'll enter our code, we'll click I'm not a robot, and then let's continue. Right, we're back here again. Continue. Nope, nothing. Not happening. <laughs> okay, I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, at some point, we're gonna have to accept that this username is not fitting on a play button, but not just yet. Stay tuned. <laughs> And so I went back to YouTube live chat, I entered all of the same old information, I explained the scenario to a new YouTube support employee, and at that point, they said the unforgivable. Do you have an option to enter a shorter name? How dare you, Siege? How dare you? A shorter name? No! I absolutely do not! So once I politely reiterated that, they said, Since you like to keep your name, I will need to check this with our specialist team. So they needed to send an email to the technical team. It was not looking good for our 382 character username. And a few days later, I got another email. But before we read that email, which I'm sure is great news by the way, let's hear from today's sponsor! Hi there everyone! I wanna buy some new clothes, right? But clothes are so expensive these days. This nice jumper, for example, is 45 quid. Either way, I'm gonna add it to my basket, we'll worry about it later. Also gonna grab some nice joggers as well. Personalize! Oh my god, I can put my name on the joggers. <coughs> Turd boy. <laughs> Definitely worth the extra 10 quid, add to bag. Get this hat as well, and then a few extra things. In the checkout, gonna cost us 198 quid. But what's this? Because I've got honey, they found me four possible coupons that might save me a bit of cash. Let's click apply coupons. Honey's now testing each of the coupons that it has managed to find. And bloody Nora, we've saved £38.20. All I had to do was click a button. All right, let's head to the checkout. People have got Honey using my link over the last like two years have saved in total $238,000 which is mental. It just proves it works. Honey's completely free, saves you money. There's no reason not to get this browser extension. So if you want to get Honey for yourself, head to joinhoney.com slash Jack to start saving money. I have now received my email from the technical department and as expected, it is not good news. Thank you for your unended patience and I hope this email finds you well. I was able to read the correspondence you had with my colleague and I believe this is about your career rewards. Please know that we take all our feedback seriously and I'm more than glad to check on this for you. As promised, I'd like to inform you that our internal team has responded and confirmed that in order for you to claim your career rewards, you will be needing to change your channel name. Kindly follow the steps below and then they literally show us how to actually change our YouTube channel name. Absolutely not! I will never change my 374 character username ever. They fixed the bug that I used, so if I changed it, it would be gone forever. In addition, please know the maximum character count is only 50 characters and understand that this cannot be adjusted. YouTube, you may have won the war, but you have not won the battle. Is that, is that the phrase? I've come up with a plan, and it's a good one. As you can see, this is a 50 character username on a play button, and when we look, there is not really any room on either side. That's what, like less than an inch? Just because we can't change how many characters go on this username doesn't mean we can't still make the username even longer. For example, we've got Jack's Abbey YouTube channel full of fun times of fun, high kiss written in front of me. That's 50 characters long. But watch what happens when it's written in capitals. Oh, it's suddenly 
a lot longer. So already, I don't think that this name in capitals would fit on that play button. And the reason for this is different letters are different widths. So for example, this is the letter I 50 times, but this is the letter M 50 times. Look how much more space it takes up. And then this is the letter M in capitals, uses about the same amount of space this time. But this is the letter W in capitals, quite a lot longer. So a beautiful capital W is the widest letter that we can have. I understand there are some like obscure characters from other languages and stuff that I could potentially use, but there's no point trying out because YouTube would just decline me. It's a waste of time. So let me show you my proposed 50 character super wide username. Are you ready for this? Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Are you ready for this? Yeah! <laughs> so both of these usernames are 50 characters long, but look how much longer this second one is. So I've got some symmetrical M's and W's at the end, just to add a bit of width. And then this is basically the initials of my super long username. So we've got Jack's Epic YouTube channel full of fun times and fun. Hi, Rick X. <laughs> By the way, this isn't the entire initials because that just literally wouldn't fit. Has nothing on me. More characters than all of Jack's YouTube channels combined. Ha ha. Jack sucks at life. Stuff. Massey Welsh. <laughs> Geography. Clips. Sam Smells of Apricots, Pop Up Pirate, and then some more W's and M's. And I. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so, yes, that's 50 characters long, so YouTube have got to accept it. If this is how much space this username has left, I'm very curious about how much space that username is going to have. What on earth will they do? Will they put it on a separate line? Will they make the font smaller? Will they just decline me? I've got absolutely no idea. Well, I guess it's time to find out. So we have to delete this super long username, which is very, very sad. But realistically, we all knew it was going to happen. There it goes. And now I paste in my new one. I'm hoping that it will allow the underscores. I guess we will find out. So let's just make sure that looks about right. Um, yeah, we've got our W's and M's at the beginning. We've got tracks of YouTube channel full of fun times and fun. Hire kiss. This is just... <laughs> complete mumbo jumbo but i think we're good so let us click continue we have made it to the shipping details this is the furthest we've gotten oh my god award level silver our username's there i'm so excited let's confirm my order here we go your order will be handled in three to four days and shipped to your address within one to two weeks i cannot wait <laughs> that is of course unless society awards have an issue which guessing they probably will. Either way though, let's find out. So at this point you would think I wouldn't have any more issues. Well guess what? I had many more issues. But why? We've agreed to do a 50 character username. It's technically a lot longer than this, but it's still 50 characters. What's the problem? I get an email a couple of days later. I saw you recently redeemed a silver award. Congratulations. Congratulations. I just wanted to double check that you wanted the name to be <laughs> And of course I said, yeah, I would like the name to be 24 hours later, we get this email. I just asked YouTube if it was approved and they asked if you would be okay if the award said because we don't typically allow the underscores on awards, would that be okay? So they want to remove my big wide W's and M's and the underscores, but they only said they don't allow underscores. So I said, ah, sorry, I didn't realize that. In that case, you could remove the underscores. Please print the following on the award. And then I shoved in an extra M and a W to replace the now removed underscores. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. By the way, if you're watching this far in, please subscribe because this video was a right faff on. <laughs> Another 24 hours later, I have another email. YouTube got back to me and they approve of the name as long as the MW, MW, MW at the beginning and the end are dropped. Do you approve? Uh, no. I absolutely do not approve because that is only 36 characters and I'm trying to get a username that is longer than Jack's having a YouTube channel full of fun times fun hire kiss. <laughs> so I kick back and I say I do not approve that name and if I'm not allowed the M's and the W's then can I please have and then I give a full extended abbreviated version of the username, which I was not happy about doing. So that username was Jack's Epic YouTube channel full of fun times and fun. Hi, Rick. Kiss has nothing on me. I am the superior channel. I have more characters than Jack sucks at life stuff. Massey Welsh geography clips. Sam Sons Apricots. Pop Up Pirate. I, I don't even remember what they stand for, but it does stand for something. <laughs> And even though it's not as long as my username with all of the M's and the W's, as we can see, it is still quite a lot longer than Jack's Epic YouTube channel full of fun times and fun hire kiss, which is what's printed on this award. So it will still be the new longest award on YouTube. So Society Awards got back to me another day later and they said, YouTube has finally approved this. Please never contact me again. I got this really hilarious looking email with the original name. <laughs> and before I knew it, 
this arrived at my door. I'm very excited to open it up. So we've got the new play button in front of us, but if we grab our original long play button username, let's grab our tape measure and work out specifically how long this is. Okay, that is an impressive 22 and a half centimeters. <laughs> so providing what's in this box is longer than 22 and a half centimeters, we've successfully gotten the new longest username play button on YouTube. Of course, I'm very nervous about this. Potentially the username could be spread across two lines. I'm sure it's not going to be. I think they're somehow gonna manage to fit it in, but surely it's gonna be very close to the edge. <laughs> okay, take the lid up. It is right under this felt. Oh my God. <laughs> Are we ready everyone for the new longest username on YouTube? Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Let me grab it so you can see it better. Oh, I've not opened the play button in ages! This is so nice! Well, you know what? It actually fits very, very nicely. It looks absolutely ridiculous, but they've bloody managed to make it fit. Have they skipped a character? I'm counting this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41, 10, 11, 42, 12. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Fair Play Society Awards. <laughs> oh, is that new felt? It is, guys. <laughs> you, you, can, <laughs> you can tell I've opened too many play buttons when I can recognize it new felt. <laughs> Look, it's a slightly less deep black. That's very nice. I like it. Okay, before we're gonna do the moment of truth and work out if it's longer than 22 and a half centimeters, because I don't think it's that much longer, but as long as it's longer, that still counts. I realize that I have not yet checked who packaged this award. Where's my package by Rick Card? What? What the hell? Where is it? What? You are joking me. Every single Society Awards award that I've ever opened has come with a little package by Rick card. Look, I literally made a little plaque for them all to go. I can only assume that Rick saw this and he was like, I am not giving that little English moron the satisfaction of getting one of my cards. I can't believe it. I'm outraged. <laughs> God, that is so funny. And you know what? I know you packaged it, Rick because I have a commercial invoice on the back of the box and it's got your bloody name on the back of it. But either way, here we are with two long usernames. I can't help noticing there's a mucky fingerprint there as well, guys. They're taking the mickey here. What's going on? Oh my God. When you put them side by side, you can see that they've actually had to make the font smaller. This typeface is so much thicker than this typeface. I wonder if that's the first time they've ever had to do that. Did they have to like do that specially for me? Okay, I've got my tape measure. This is it. 22 and a half to beat and Yes! We're 23 and a half! We did it! We've got the new longest username on YouTube! Thank you so much for watching everyone! Subscribe to Jack Sucks Alive! Subscribe to this channel! Click that like button! And I will see you all next time! We did it!